Let's check out the Viver Portable Punch. This is a CH70. And yeah, it's got some weight to it. Bought this off of eBay. It, I think delivered to my door was 148 bucks with dies. Give you an example, Porta Punch, which is the, the name brand version of this is $4,200. This is going to be used in the automotive field. This is going to be used in my fabrication. And this is also going to be used to make furniture. So this tool was purchased to save time. Instead of drilling holes in a drill press, drilling holes by hand, this tool will be able to punch a hole much quicker and much easier. We are gonna demonstrate how easy it punches a hole in a few minutes here. You can punch holes in steel, aluminum, copper, brass, whatever you wanna do. This can go from thin sheet metal all the way up to half inch plate based upon your tonnage and your dies that you're going to use. General rule of thumb with punching holes in steel, aluminum, brass, stainless steel, whatever. You can't punch a smaller hole in a thicker plate. So if the plate is 3 eighths of an inch, you can't punch a hole smaller than 3 eighths of an inch into the steel plate. So according to uh, Viver, this will do up to 3 eighths steel, 5 16 stainless steel, half inch thick aluminum. There's a formula that I learned from my fabrication shop to figure out your tonnage. This CH70 is 35 tons of pressure. So what you do is you take your diameter in inches, times it by your thickness in inches, and then times that number by 80, and that gives you your tonnage. So if you took a half inch diameter punch, the thickness is a half inch plate, you times the half inch by the half inch in decimal, times that number by 80, that'll give you the tons. So we'll just pull out a calculator real quick and we'll do that math. So you would do 0.5 times 0.5 because you have a half inch thickness material, half inch punch gives you to 0.25, you times that 0.25 times 80 and it takes 20 tons to punch that half inch hole into a piece of half inch plate. Our unit is rated at 35 tons. So that means we're good to go to punch the hole. All right, this is a Harbor Freight pneumatic hydraulic pump. And basically what it is, is you fill this reservoir with hydraulic fluid, connect an air source. It's meant to be foot operated. That pumps, that releases. This is a 10,000 PSI pump. This is rated at 10,000 PSI to get the maximum amount of tonnage. This hose is 10,000 PSI hydraulic hose. Quick note, and this is just a safety. So this hydraulic hose I had made by Cauliflower Hose. You cannot go in 10,000 PSI over eight feet. Reason being is if this hose were to rupture or snap and separate, it would whip around and potentially could hurt you. So they don't make hoses over eight feet long in 10,000 PSI hoses. All righty, so we're gonna punch a hole. So we'll just do a piece of 16 gauge and we'll do a big hole. So we'll take the, I think this is the three quarter, 20.5 millimeter. Let's take the lower die in. You wanna make sure you set the Allen screw. And just the threaded collar on this punch. I just do everything hand tight, don't need to be crazy. Now we're gonna connect our air. These have a little bleeder, just make sure you open your bleeder. So what we're gonna do is piece of 16 gauge sheet metal. We're just gonna punch a three quarter inch hole in it. We're gonna take these slugs and maybe make a washer out of it. So that was the largest punch I have. And I'm gonna take the smallest punch I have and see if I can make a washer. Make sure you choose the right dies. Don't accidentally put the wrong dies in the, in the punch.
how could this accident have been prevented? That is the question. All righty, we got all betting. Is it gonna work or is it not gonna work? Here we go. Ha! We successfully made a washer. It deformed it, okay. but simple. <laughs> Flat. Didn't center it up good, but you could. So that was a piece of 16 gauge. So now, here's a piece of 11 gauge. We'll punch a hole in that. Nice clean hole, simple, easy to use, beach drilling. Advantage of this is you don't have a lot of metal chips. You have just little punch blanks floating around your shop. That's number one, so no sharp shards of metal. Um, speed of use, it punches a hole rather quickly. Um, there's no sharpening of drill bits, there's no cutting fluid. You can use oil and should use oil um, on the dies. You don't have to, but you could. Uh, to protect your dies and lengthen the, the use of your dies. So what we got here is a piece of quarter inch scrap. We'll punch a half inch hole. This is gonna take some pressure. Now you wouldn't have to use this extractor plate if the material is long enough where these fingers would grab it. Yeah, so this whole piece of quarter inch plate, half inch hole like that, you'd be drilling for a good amount of time. The other problem you have with a drill is it wanders. So as you're drilling, you know, your drill could wander. You might not be perfectly straight or square to your plate. So you could have a crooked hole, especially going through a piece of thicker material. Um, with this, it's in there. The die sits flat, punches in flat, boom. It punches this perfectly square hole. Well, perfectly round hole in a piece of steel. Um, basically, we'll let you know how this works out. We got some jobs lined up for this tool and we're gonna see how it's gonna work in, the, in a shop environment, home environment, and uh, kind of in an industrial environment. <laughs>